Portions of Colorado & Company contain paid content. Products and services featured are not endorsed by Colorado & Company. Hi there, welcome back to the second half of Colorado & Company. I'm Denise Plant and joining me this morning, Ryan Herman and also Sean anderson Vi. And we can't forget Jake the Cockatoo too. How are you all? Nice to see you. Thank you well. too. The Denver Zoo is very, very busy, but let's really focus on Jake, the animal you brought today. Where can Jake usually be found? Jake is found in the rainforest of Indonesia. His species, which is called a Goffin's Cockatoo, but locally you can find him at the wildlife show at the Denver Zoo. And he has quite the part in the wildlife show, doesn't he? Yes, he's a crowd favorite. What he is, is part of our volunteer segment. So during the show, we bring up a child and we ask him or her to train an animal. And Jake comes out, flies to them. They get a, a really cool, unique experience wow. from an exotic animal. They get to learn about animal training and what we do at the Denver Zoo. And it's a life memorable experience. So they feel like they train Jake to fly. Yeah. How do you go about doing that? Well, we get them on stage and we talk about how we train animals at the zoo. And that's through positive reinforcement it's the reward so as Jake flies to this kid they get a treat or Jake gets a treat which yeah. today is an almond it's one of his favorite things in the world are you ready to be I an wanna, animal trainer? I, deep in heart at my heart I am like a 12 year old child okay. so please give me the almond and I'll He's be excited there. so okay. you have to act like a tree okay and then he'll fly right over to you fly to me and the trainer right there. That's the that's sound you have to do, too. Yeah, that's my 12-year-old sound. So can I put him on my shoulder? Do you think he'd be I think okay after with it? he uh, eats his almond? That, yeah, All right. right. Very cool. Now, one thing people should know, and what kids learn also during the show, is how to be responsible pet owners and how to be responsible with pets, correct? Correct. Now, it's important to always do your homework if it's a fish, if it's a dog, or if it's a bird, to make sure you know what your commitment level is. These guys can live for 30 to 40 years, so that's a huge yes. commitment for a animal that's kind of like a four-year-old boy the entire life. So Absolutely. make sure you know what you're doing, what you need, and the financial responsibilities of an animal like this. And so Do It the Zoo is happening too, which is a fun event for adults. Mm -hmm. And tell me a little bit about it. Are tickets still available? Tickets are still available, yeah. So we like to say it's uh, Denver's wildest summer party and our largest fundraiser. Uh, presented by Anadarko Petroleum Corporation, you know, we are going to have more than 60 of the best restaurants from Denver. Wow. Uh, some great drinks, dancing, great entertainment, and it's just a fun party for everyone. And it supports a great cause, our education programs. Can you name any of the restaurants that are participating? Uh, D-Bar, Maggiano is the Palm wow. Restaurant, is the, the few that come to mind. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's, Good stuff. Yeah. we got some of the best restaurants there. Yeah. And you're focusing more on beverages this year. Why? We are. So we're kind of changing up how we do some fundraisers this year and events. And Brew at the Zoo, which had historically come in August, we're discontinuing that this year. Oh. So if you like that event, if you like some good beers, come to Do at the Zoo. We're going to have some plenty of, uh, of the best breweries in town, and we're going to have those ready for some people that really like a good brew. What about entertainment? Lots of good entertainment. So we've got everything from folk, pop, a uh, little country, I think. So, And of course, the fabulous Boogie Knot are going to be the, the main Oh, very cool. Yeah. And the cause, it benefits? Yeah, so we like to say at Denver Zoo, we bring education alive. So yeah. uh, we like to, th th this event will support things like our classes, our camps, and our outreach programs so kids can learn about animals like Jake. Okay, it's a wonderful cause, wonderful entertainment. Jake, can you go back on my, there you go. Amazing. Good, good, buddy. So what are some unique characteristics about Jake? I want him on my shoulder. I don't know if, it, oh, there he went. Well, <gasps> this is cool. Somebody take a picture. <laughs> Give him a little treat. Yeah, give him a treat reward. for doing this. Some of his unique characteristics, as he saw as he flew to, he has a crest that kind of sticks up as a mohawk, and that tells you that he's excited and thrilled to be here. So he is a lovable guy. Also, his unique characteristics, as you see him eating right now, most birds will bring their beak down to their feet to eat like a hawk. Well, parrots are the sophisticated birds, and they'll actually bring their foot up to their beak and eat so eloquently like that. Very nice. And this is a cockatoo, so the family of a parrot? Yep. They are related to macaws and African gray parrots, uh, long-lived species, and very intelligent. Very cool. And the defense mechanisms, what, what do cockatoos do to defend themselves? Well, that beak, I, won't, I guess I, won't, I will share with you, can be pretty nasty if you uh -oh. were to get aggressive, but the best uh, survival skills is they live in flocks together and they're very loud so if one animal sees uh, a predator approaching they'll scream and that'll alert all the other macaw or excuse me the cockatoos in the forest and they'll fly away can you teach a cockatoo to talk uh, not really what they do is they mimic so they don't actually know what they're talking about but they play copycat with you and oh. he uh, doesn't but our African oh, gray okay you we want to take him now <laughs> uh, our African me. gray will say quite a few things but he likes to scream and Jake's favorite thing to do is listen to some Katy Perry so he loves the dance and that's what, uh, Lord, he, I think he just made me wet myself just a tad bit holy smokes that was scary mm -hmm. how old is Jake Jake is 18 years old 18. and we really? hope to live uh, 30 to 40 years 
That is wonderful. And how did the Denver Zoo end up with Jake? Was he bred at the zoo? Well, it was part of that pet ownership. Uh, uh -huh. Some really responsible people that knew what they were doing uh, had him, but the, his owner developed an allergy to him. So she, for her health, couldn't uh, take care of him anymore. And even though it was heartbreaking for her, she right. had to relinquish him. And we had a perfect home for him. And now uh, thousands of people uh, at the show get to enjoy him. She knows him. he's well taken care yes. of. And finally, some tips for someone who wants to own a bird. Uh, to do your research yes. and to make sure that you have the adequate time, resources to maintain an animal that needs a lot of companionship, maybe even more than a dog. So you have to be there, you have to be responsible, <laughs> and you have to make faces like that all the time. I'm sorry, did you get a close up? Was that a great face? Please make that in slow mo. Oh please. my gosh, I think I finally got the big lips that I always wanted for that. All right, so it's due at the zoo time. It's June 18th from 7 to 10 p.m. And yes, 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 you can graze on sample dishes from a variety of 60 of the city's best restaurants. Do you want to go ahead and take him? And then belly up to a variety of watering hole for unlimited drinks, all while taking in the sights and sounds of all critters. He is so cool. Buy your tickets online at denverzoo.org. That's denverzoo.org. All right, you know sometimes diet and exercise, they're tried and true.